there, it's Shea Sorensen, independent consultant with Pink Zebra, and I'm going to give you some tips on making a sale. Making a sale is super important, but before you get into actually making the sale, there's a couple things that you should remember. First of all, educate yourself on our products. Make sure that you know the correct terminology and make sure that you know how to use them. Everything is in the back office under FAQs. All of it is there. So make sure that you educate yourself on that. Knowledge is power. So then as you go into starting to make sales, you're going to want to keep in mind that it is so much more than a sale. You want to build a relationship with these people. You want to connect with them so that you can build that relationship and get future sales, bookings, or even recruits. So as you go into talking to a customer after they've approached you, you want to ask some questions that are easy for them to answer. So let's say, for example, you want to ask them, what kind of scents are you drawn to? For example, fruity, gourmet, clean, flowery, etc. That will kind of help you narrow down some scents for them. So let's say that they really enjoy clean scents. And so I'm going to grab a scent for them to try out. Here I have fresh linen, which fresh linen is amazing. So I have them smell it and then they're going to smell it and go, oh my gosh, that is so good. So then you're going to kind of connect to them. Doesn't that smell just like fresh linen that has been hanging out on the clothesline? Or when you open up that dryer, isn't that the smell? And Oh my gosh, yes it is. I absolutely love it. So then, because our scents are customizable, you're going to bring in a second scent to pair with this. So I would bring in Sunflower Fields, which is so good. So then I would say, now smell these together. And then they're really going to love it, I promise. <laughs> so they're, you're going to say, doesn't that smell still like clean linen, but like happy, sunshiny clean linen? It is amazing. So you're going to show how you can mix them together and explain that all as well, okay? So then you're going to want to talk about the different ways to use our products. And there's so many different uses for sprinkles other than just putting it in a warmer. So you want to make sure that you educate them on that as well because they're going to love that. Again, you're showing your knowledge to them. When it comes to simmering lights and to simmering pots, you're going to want to make sure, again, that you are knowledgeable on how to use them. Show them how you can add um, different layers to the simmering lights. That is such a great asset. Make sure that you show them how they can clean a simmering pot. It is little things like that that your customers are going to love about you. So that is my tip for making the sale is again really relating to them, connecting to them, showing them the uses and being knowledgeable on your products. That will help so much and continue to build relationship with your customers that will lead to even more customers in the future.